to Phoenix from Phoenix Rising Tarot. Here to do another energetic upgrade or update for you guys. Do keep in mind these are general readings. They're not going to resonate for all of you. But for the ones that it does resonate for, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below. This is going to be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs of Cancer. So let's jump into this reading and see what is coming true for you guys for this weekend. Spirit, messages for my Cancers. Spirit messages for my cancers. Hmm. You guys are in some heavy energy this week, but things are about to change for you. You have great fortune at the bottom of the deck. Now, this card will change any energies, any lower vibrational energies into positive ones. You are going to be happy this week because you have been in this type of feeling constrained, feeling restricted, feeling held back or tied down. And it has been causing you some despair and anxiety and frustration. And... It's like the more you try to get out of this energy, the deeper you fall into it. It could be because of a female, someone that you may be married to. It could be a mother, a sister, a cousin, an aunt. But there is some type of female that is causing you a lot of stress. It could be someone that you are in a relationship with as well. Alright? But things are about to change for you. Your worries are finally going to turn into happiness. Your anxieties are finally going to turn into joy. So whatever lower vibrational energies that are around you is going to finally be changed. Alright, so let's see what is happening with the tarot. Spirit messages for my cancers for this weekend mm. could be a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius you're connecting to but this person is using their head over their heart in making decisions for some of you this person could be manipulating you and causing you to feel trapped and bound but you have gone within you have gone silent on this person because you're searching for some type of answers. It is causing you a lot of stress and anxiety and making you feel like there is no hope. So you have withdrawn from this person. You love them, you show them you love them, you express to them that you love them. But instead of it works out, it turns into more stress and anxiety. You could be connecting with a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. But the more you try to express love to this person, it, like, it turns into a disaster. So, this person is either rushing in to you or is sitting very still and being very quiet and has totally withdrawn from you. But you want a new beginning with this person. You want to explore this relationship with this person. You don't know where this relationship will start or when it will take off, but you have hopes. You don't know if it will be committed at this point in time. You don't know anything about this relationship. All you know is that you want this relationship. You're ready to open up to this person, to express your love towards this person, to start something new and stable with this person. Yeah, 
because there is something that hasn't ended with you guys yet. There is something that is coming back around. <clears throat> Once you leave the past in the past and you leave everything negative about this relationship behind and how this person made you feel and the anxiety that you felt not being with this person, once you leave all that behind, things will start to come into fruition for you. Because you're unsure of this relationship, you're unsure of how far it will go or where it will take you. But one thing you do know is that you want this person because there is some unfinished business between you and this person. You're not really hoping much for a passionate new beginning, but you're hoping for some type of beginning. You're hoping for some type of resurrection. Yeah, this has you feeling stuck and stagnant because there is too, too many what ifs about this relationship that you can't answer and it is causing you to feel stagnant mm -hmm. because this person may act like they don't love you but i think they do they just are really good at disguising it could be an aquarius for some of you but you see this person as your ultimate wish fulfillment they are your star they are the one thing that wakes you up on a morning and makes you smile it could be someone from your past or it could be a past life connection. But you think about this person and you have a lot of nostalgic moments. Yeah, for some of you it could be a Sagittarius. But this Sagittarius isn't behaving like himself or herself. They're being very irrational. But you see this person as being your star. But as regards to a long-term commitment, you're not sure about that with this person. But you are ready to open up and explore the options. You're ready to explore this relationship. You're definitely ready to, you know, no matter what is happening right now, you're willing to look past it because you really want this connection. There is unfinished business between you and this person. There is a, a some type of like a pull, a literal pull towards you or a literal pull towards them. But there is some unexplained reason why you both can't let go. And you can't figure it out. You can't figure it out. This person can't figure it out. But it's like there is no love here. You feel that there is no love for you. And this person may feel like, you know, this person doesn't love me. Because you're both being silent. Now you're ready to open up cancer. But you're unsure of what this person is going to say or what they're going to do. Yeah. Because someone broke someone's heart here. But someone is finally changing their perspective on the situation. For some of you, it could be a cancer you're dealing with. Yeah. You're wounded, your walls are up, you are afraid to approach this person, but you want to. You want to try again. You're not ready to give up on this connection. There is a pull that you have towards this person and they have towards you. There was an ending here, but you want a reconciliation and you're ready to fight for this connection. Wow, because you want a new beginning with them after an ending. You want to be truthful. You want to offer them love. You want to tell them what it is you've been hiding, the fact that you do love them. And you might be surprised that this person will actually admit to you that they love you just as much as you love them. But there is some unfinished business here. That is for sure. Spirit, what is your best advice for my cancers and this connection <coughs> the best advice for my cancers in this connection wow okay so this is something that is going to make a lot of you very very happy there is going to be commitment here this person is going to commit to you. 
because it is a spiritual journey you both are on. There are a lot of lessons to learn, but there is a lot of growth here. Now, every time you and this person separate, so every time there is an argument, you grow a little more. This person grows a little more. Oh my God. This is so amazing. So you're going to finally decide on a new part, one that will be very fruitful. It will be very romantic. And I'll explain that just now. But everything had to happen the way it did, in its own timing. For you both to have some type of growth. Now this is the way you see this person and this is the way this person sees you. As a sexual being. There is a lot of sexual attraction here between you and this person. There is no doubting that. But there is a lot of romance here as well. There is definitely love between you and this person. And they love you just as much as you love them. And they see you in the same light that you see them. Alright, so this is what I have for you guys. It's a wonderful reading. I do hope that you look, most of you look at it to the end because it's, it's a wonderful ending. Alright, do have a good one.